Hi kids, my name's Nicole and this is Let's Make Art and you are here to paint with us and today we're doing a playful <laughs> <laughs> turkey. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a super fun, we're, we're gonna be using a straw. So let's go over the supplies that I want you to grab. So like I said, we're gonna be using a fun straw. So grab a straw that you can blow with and we're gonna paint with. Then the colors that we're using today are my color mixing guide will be using a magenta but if you have a red or a pink or an orchid you can use that color as well we're gonna be using deep yellow but any yellow will work and then the last one is sepia which is a brown so we're gonna use that to add some brown to our turkey so we're actually just gonna be using these three colors today so Let's, oh, and as always, we have a palette, we have a brush, cup of water, and our paper towel. Now, we like to start at Let's Make Art Kids, is we like to start with our motto. So if you can raise your right hand and repeat after me. I am brave. I am brave. I am kind. I am kind. And I am creative. And I am creative. Let's do this. Ugh. Boom! And can Keenan come say hi? Because you will hear him gobble, so you might want to know where that sound is coming from. Hello, everyone. <laughs> we don't have a turkey in the back, but <laughs> maybe we do. I am a turkey. You don't know. I am the playful turkey <laughs> that you are painting today. So, we are going to get started. Now, the first thing is, is when you are looking at our turkey, there's lots of different layers. So I want you to stick with me because we're gonna add layer on top of layer on top of layer. So the first one is, is at the very back, we're gonna start with yellow because it's our lighter color. So I have my watercolors and my palette and I'm gonna squeeze out some yellow on my palette. Then, Grab your paintbrush and you're gonna dip in water. So the key is to have water on your brush when you're doing this. So we're gonna do that and then dip in your yellow. And then I'm gonna start down here. So it's gonna, it may help you too, is I'm gonna twist my paper a little bit and I'm gonna start right here because when we blow, we're gonna blow out. So I'm going to paint just a little bit down here. And then I'm gonna dip in water. Let me make sure my water cup's in your shot and I'm gonna add more streams so think of it as streams because now we're going to use our straw so this is a straw put your mouth on the straw but don't touch the, the straw directly to it I'm gonna hover over a little bit and then we're gonna blow ready Ooh. Woo! so do you see how I made all those really little feathers is what we're painting today. Was that a good spot? That was a good spot. Can you try it again farther away without your head in the shot? Yes, let's do it again. Challenge. So, dip in water, dip in paint, and then paint and add little streams. So I'm going around the body. Maybe we'll do all this part. So I'm going around the body, and then I'm gonna dip in water again because I want a little bit more streams like this. Then set the brush down. Again, put my lips onto the straw and let's blow. Ready? <gasps> my head in the way? A little bit. <laughs> I'll do it over time. Nice. So we are blowing out away from our the body of the turkey. So I'm gonna keep going. So let's keep spinning. Just keep spinning. Just, Just keep. keep spinning. So water, paint little stream so for this one because we're going to be paint spreading a little bit more maybe the streams are a little bit bigger let's go all the way around and then i'm gonna get more water we're gonna keep going so streams now if yours didn't work i always want you to think i may i might need more streams of water so just use water and go like this then Keenan, you want to make a noise while I blow? What noise should I make? I don't know. Let's surprise him. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> that was great. I don't know what a... Can it sound like a horse? <laughs> <laughs> your, <laughs> your hair is making good sound effects against the mic. 
Oh. So it's actually a really good combo. <laughs> <laughs> your mic's on the other side of your uh, oh. apron. Okay, well, so when you, <laughs> I'm going to add a little bit more stream because I want to go out a little bit further. So I'm adding more and blowing. Boom. <laughs> it looks like it's a mohawk. That's not what you were doing? On, you weren't doing that on purpose? Nope. You weren't just doing a mohawk for the turkey? <laughs> so we're going to keep going. We're gonna do this and then, well, let's just do it together. Keenan will give us more side effects. If you need more color, go and squeeze out more. Sound effects. Okay. Activated. So do you see how I'm spinning my paper? So now I'm gonna blow away from the body and I kind of need some over here. So remember, streams of water to give it places to go because the more water, the more it will spread. Okay. Ready? <laughs> I don't know what sound effects to use for you blowing through a straw. I'm trying to keep You're it just turkey related. Gobbling, it's great. It's great. Maybe I could find a turkey noise. Let's see what a turkey sounds like. Okay, so that is the first step. Now, let's do the next layer. So now we're gonna do some orange. So to mix orange, you are going to mix yellow and magenta together. So let's see, if I'm looking at our guide, I'm gonna make this next color. So we did this one, now we're gonna do this one. So it says one drop of magenta and six drops of yellow. So one drop of magenta, and six drops of yellow. One, two, three, four, five, six, whoop. Maybe seven. Maybe seven, so mix together. Ooh, there's our orange. So red plus yellow equals orange. Now, we're going to start again. So we're gonna do that same thing. So we're gonna rotate our paper and for this one, I'm gonna dip, do the same thing. So dip in water, dip in paint, then paint. So I'm just gonna do little streams on this Ooh. one. So we can see a little bit of the yellow behind it. So little streams, and then let's see if this works. So I'm gonna blow again. So again, we're blowing away from the body. <laughs> I can't make that sound. That was so fun. That wasn't you? No. Wait. I guess you'll never know. You'll never know. Dip in water, get paint. <laughs> Again, we're getting little streams. And so my paint's wet, so it's kind of mixing into the yellow, which is kind of cool. So we're going to do little streams, and then we're going to blow again. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's amazing. That's a great sound. I think that's just how they communicate. Gobbling? Yeah, they're like, get the humans. <laughs> so you see how you can see some of the yellow and now we see the orange. So now we're gonna keep going. Lovely. Have you ever seen a turkey in real life? Oh yes. Yeah? Every Thanksgiving. That was cooked? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. But yes, I have seen turkeys in real life. They are, they frequent the Missouri countrysides. Oh. Sometimes they walk right through town. Really? Mm -hmm, just randomly. Not a lot, not often, not a big group of them, ones or twos. Usually the smaller towns are a little more populated with turkeys too, closer to farmland. Mm. The adult turkey, the adult male turkey, is called a jake turkey. Really? Yeah. A jake? Jake, yeah. Like the name jake? J-A-K-E. Oh, fun fact. Yeah. I didn't know that. 
What are the babies called? Probably chicks. Because mm. they're related to it's like chickens and stuff. Okay, so now if you want to do one more step, you can either use, if you see on this guide, you can either use red or magenta and you can do one more layer and do it again. But I think I'm just going to go for the brown because I'm ready to do brown. So what we're going to do is we are going to, let's see, use sepia. So on my palette, I have sepia, which is a brown, and I'm gonna squeeze it onto my palette. Now, if you don't have brown, you can mix it by mixing the three primary colors, which is a red or a magenta, yellow, and blue. Okay, so for our turkey. Now, when there's a turkey, let's see, can, you, can we do a side shot? Yes. So if we're looking at our turkey, do you see how there is this really dark color along the edge of the feathers? So we're gonna kind of make that right here. So to do that is I'm gonna, again, start over and I'm gonna spin my turkey. And when I paint, so I grab my, my brush and my, I have my straw. So I'm gonna dip in water, pick up some brown, but when we're doing this is I'm just going to not touch the body of the turkey. I'm going to go a little bit out and draw really small lines again. We're drawing streams, but I'm just drawing out. So then when we're ready to blow, I can't get the, <laughs> the curl sound, how they curl their voice. I can't do it. A curl? Yeah, I like that one. <laughs> so now can you see how if I spin it back we're starting to make that arch that we saw so we're going to continue and do that again so let's grab remember water paint streams so I'm doing it where it's an arch because the the feathers are an arch around the body oh need a little bit more paint So I'm not touching the body, I'm going a little bit around it, adding little streams. Okay, now I'm going to blow out away from the body. Let's keep going, so spinning my turkey. Woo! Whoa. Might need to take a little breather. Take Remember a breather. Remember to breathe. Tell us about a turkey, what's your favorite name for a turkey? What would you name a wild turkey? Tell us. Woo! Yeah, remember to breathe. Okay, last part. Dip in water. Brown. Oh, guess how many an adult, how many feathers an adult turkey could have? A hundred thousand. That is a ridiculous number <laughs> that you decided to pull out of your hat. How many turk? How many feathers? Fifty-five hundred. Whoa! Feathers. Isn't that crazy? Fifty-five hundred. So five thousand. Five thousand five hundred feathers. Dude, well, that makes feathers. sense. We're making a lot per turkey. Kids, make sure I should have said this in the beginning that your table can get a little messy. Yes. <laughs> okay, so we did our brown around it. Now, the other thing is when we're looking at this, can you see how there are these lines that are coming out? And it's like, pretend it's a clock. So a clock, the Ooh. hand of a clock goes like this. So we're going to do that on this next step. So I'm actually gonna put my straw down, dip, in water, I need a little bit more brown, so we're just using brown still. So dip in the brown, and I'm gonna start again like we have been doing this whole time. So I'm gonna flip my paper, and I'm gonna draw lines that go out. So Guess I'm, how fast a turkey can run. How fast can a human run? Whoa, wait, do you want me to find that out first? No, I just, I don't know. I have no idea. The a fastest I've ever run is 21 miles per hour. Wow. Okay. 
Hold on, let me say something and then we can guess. Go ahead. Okay, so one quick thing is you saw that all of my lines go out like this, and then I'm gonna turn my paper up like this, and then I'm gonna keep drawing lines. So again, our lines are going like a clock. So they're going like this, and then like this. So if it helps you to turn your paper, you can. Or if it's just helpful to keep it right here and you draw away from the body, then you can do that. So we just drew lines. Now, did you see how I started from the body and then I went out and I touched the brown feathers? So that's how you do that next step. It's starting to come together, right? Yeah, it looks great. Isn't that awesome? Okay, go, Keenan. Okay. How fast does a turkey run? Wild turkeys have very powerful legs. They can run at speeds of up to 25 miles per hour. Whoa. That's the speed limit for most of Hamilton. That's true. Yeah, if you think about it, when a car is going in a, near houses. Yeah, they're going 25. How funny if you see a turkey running next to a car. What if we rode giant turkeys instead <laughs> of cars? What a world it would be. Oh my that'd goodness, be really that'd be amazing. <laughs> okay. The next step is, is actually it's good. We had a little fun chat so that our painting dried a little bit. But what we're gonna do is, do you see on our turkey how there are two parts of the body? So there's this part, which is kind of like the head and the neck, and then there's a body behind it. But they're two different colors. So this part is brown, and this part is like a reddish tinted brown. So we can make that color together. So if we go back to our color mixing guide, so we have sepia is what we start with. So we're gonna make this red brown over here. So to do that, it's two drops of sepia. Put my palette. So one, two. So if you have a brown, use two drops of that. And then because it's brown but tinted red, I'm gonna use my magenta, which is like a red, and I'm gonna do two drops. Let's see what we get. Ooh, look at that Ooh, color. Ooh, bring that down a little bit for us, maybe? Could you, please? Yep. Yeah. So if, you, if you're saying, Nicole, it's a little bit too red for me, then go ahead and experiment and see what you get. You're an artist. I know you can do this. So you mix in a little bit more brown, and you go, oh, what happens? Ooh, I like that color. That is very... I think of that as a cherry syrup for ice cream. Or I was thinking stuffed in um, French toast. Ooh, raspberries. Yes, that sounds so good. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna paint just the head and the neck and the body. So I'm gonna dip in and we're gonna paint this. So the nice thing is that we're painting on top of, if you went over the lines, that's okay. And we're gonna paint around the eyeball. Now, if you like to use a small paintbrush, maybe go and grab that because we're using really small areas or we're painting small parts right here. But we're painting around the eye, we're painting around his nose. Guess how far away you can hear a turkey's gobble. A mile. Yeah. Really? Yeah, you nailed it. Whoa. Right on. That's far. That is far. That's fun. Okay, so do turkeys have better or worse eyesight than humans? Oh. Think about it, they're a bird. So better, because much, I feel like they can see worms when we can't. Much can. better, okay, yeah, that's a great example. They can see three times better than a human. Whoa. And they can see in color. They're not colorblind. Cool. That's I wonder super how cool. many animals are colorblind. I know dogs are. I didn't know that. But I don't know if any other animals are. All these fun facts. So fun. <laughs> we love learning together. Okay, so we have our body. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna paint the back part of the body and since we already have sepia and brown on our palette, I'm gonna go ahead and use that. So I'm gonna dip my brush in water, hit it off to the side, paint this part of the body. Interesting fact. Go. 
Only male turkeys can gobble. Or only male turkeys do gobble, I should say. I don't know if the females can't or just don't. Huh. Yeah. wonder if it's the, because do them, I think it's just the males that have this part or no? I don't know. I'll figure it out. Huh. So whenever you hear a turkey gobbling, you know it's a male. Yeah. Okay. Now we did that. So now we are going to do this dangling part, which is, do you know what this is called, Keenan? The dangling part of a turkey? I think it's called the snood. Yeah called a snood, which is an interesting word. It is an interesting word. And I never knew what it was, so we learned that together. So the snood, we're gonna paint that red. So we have, if you want, you can use magenta, which is more of a pinky, but we're gonna make red, because we, we can mix it together by mixing magenta and yellow together. So on our guide, it says two drops of magenta and six drops of yellow. One, two, three, four, five, six. So here's what I wanna teach you as we're mixing this. Do you see on this guide how we have yellow, orange, red, magenta? So red is more magenta, which is why it's over here. And orange is more yellow, which is closer to here. So that's how you're gonna use this mixing guide. And then you're gonna follow the steps next to it. So that's how we do it. So we're mixing this together. Ooh, there's our red. Ooh. So we're gonna paint the snood red. Boom. I have some interesting information about the names of turkeys. Go. That I was incorrect earlier. I wasn't totally incorrect, but I have been corrected since. Uh -huh. More information. So a mature or adult male turkey is called a tom. Or oh, not a, a gobbler, a, f a mature or adult female is called a hen. A yearling male is called a jake. What's yearling? Yearling is like a year old. Okay. So and if it's a turkey who's a year, its, it's name a is jake. jake. If it's Whether an, it's a boy or girl? If it's, a, it's a boy. It's oh. a boy, it's jake. If okay. it's a yearling girl, it's a jenny. Jenny? So it's jake and jenny for yearlings. No way. Yep. Yep. And then... The mature and, and, and uh, the adult male and adult female are called the tom and the hen. And if they're a baby, they're called a polt. Polt? Polt. P-O-U-L-T. P-O-U-L-T. -O -L -T. So Pult. not chick. Not chick. Okay. Okay, so let's go over what we just learned. A little baby is called a polt. Polt. A one-year-old boy is called Jake. A one-year-old girl is called Jenny. Yep. An adult boy, yep. male, male yep. is called Tom. Tom. And an adult girl, woman, is called Hen. Hen. Whoa. Yeah. That's so fun. I know. <laughs> I did not know any of this. <laughs> okay. So we actually that was good again because we let it dry and i want you to know so if you're looking at my painting this is the beautiful thing about watercolors is that sometimes the color spreads into each other and i want you to love that it is not a mistake i think that's cool that things blend into each other so we love those we love those things that happen so the last thing that we need to paint watercolor is our beak now you can make it, if you wanna make it in any color you can, I'm gonna make it orange, and actually we already have orange from when we did our feathers, so I'm just gonna dip in orange. And since it's such a small area, I'm just gonna use the tip of my brush and just really lightly touch my paper, so I'm not touching too hard. So there is the beak. And then the very, very last step is we have our eye. Now you can either paint it, you can use brown or I realize that I have a brown crayon, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use that, or if you have a marker, you can use that. But when you're doing this, you'll notice that on your outline, there is a little white, or there's another circle inside of your bigger circle. So that small circle, I want you to leave it white. So I'm gonna color in my eyeball, but color around that white spot, that little dot, so leave that white. And that is called the highlight. 
and that will make your eye really pop. So there we go. So you just did that. I am so excited for your you painted. Isn't that so cool to take a step back and look at what you did? Mm. Woo! So I want you to, there's a couple things I want you to do. I want you to take a picture. I want you to tell us the name of your hen. Is it a little one? Is it a really big one? Where is it Where is it flying to? Wait, do turkeys fly? They do not fly. Not for great okay. long distances. Where is it running to at 25 miles an hour? <laughs> He's racing his <laughs> friends. He's like, I can run 26 miles per hour. And the other thing I wanted to tell you is that if you really liked this project, we have more that you use the straws. Isn't that a fun technique? So we wanted to tell you that we have those. There's a few, which one of them, we'll put a picture up. This one is our rainbow parrot, which is a really fun one. And this little boy, his name is Sasha, and he made this and he's six. And he na named his Amarillo. Which is an awesome name. An awesome name. And he told us and shared it with us. And he wanted to tell you, hey, go paint along. His mom said that this is really great to have time for both of them to paint together. So. I think that's it. Thank you for painting with me. This is always so much fun. Remember that you are brave, kind, and creative. Whoa! And I'll see you next time.